Hello everyone, my name is Flounder, and today I'd like to share with you my very favorite story of all time. The story of my best friend in the entire ocean, and her greatest adventure. Once upon a time, there was a beautiful little mermaid named Ariel. Ariel and her sisters lived with her father, King Triton, in a magnificent kingdom under the sea. One day, King Triton held a concert to show his kingdom what a beautiful voice his youngest daughter had. But when the biggest moment came, Ariel was nowhere to be found. Everyone in the kingdom wondered where Ariel could be. Everyone but me, that is. Hey Ariel, there you are. Just look louder. The sun, the sand. Isn't it the most beautiful place you've ever seen? I don't know, Ariel. I'm not sure we ought to be up here. Ah! Oh, don't be such a guppy. A guppy? I'm as brave as you are. I'm not afraid of any. What about sharks? Where? Oh, Flounder, you really are a guppy. I am not. Uh huh? You'll never guess what I found today. Look! Have you ever seen anything so wonderful in your entire life? Wow, cool! Uh, what is it? I'm not sure, but I bet Scudder will. Come on, I'll race you! she always went to be alone, but King Triton sent Sebastian to convince her and once and for all to end her fascination with the human world. What is all this? Just a few knickknacks I've collected, that's all. Think about your poor father. If you know about this, he's only not going to tell him, are you? He never understands. Ariel, down here is your home. The human world. It's a mess. <laughs>
and the sound shop. to the surface with her just as Sebastian was heading to the last verse. Wow! It's too much to ask for, isn't it? Somewhere out there, a girl who's right for a guy like me. Ha <laughs> ha, you're not looking hot enough. Me neither! Shh! I thought you were an expert. On their stuff, sure, but yeah, it's the side of hideous, ain't it? Trust me, Grimsby, when I find the girl who's right for me, it'll hit me like lightning. Storm, but when Prince Eric got knocked unconscious and thrown from the ship, Ariel saved him from drowning and pulled him to shore. She sang to him as he was waking up, but then dove back into the ocean to hide from Grims Grimsby and the others when they came to get Prince Eric. Ariel's sisters and I noticed there was something different about her. Sebastian tell about her secret cove. When the king saw all our human treasures, he was horrified and destroyed them all in a desperate effort to scare her away from the human world once and for all. But the plan backfired. Ariel fell victim to an evil plot by the sea witch, who took advantage of Ariel's broken heart to lure her into her lair. Hello? Ariel! She promised to make Ariel human for three days in exchange for her voice. But if Ariel couldn't make Prince Eric fall in love with her and kiss her in those three days, she would turn back into a mermaid and be Ursula's slave for life. 
Ariel took the deal, and Sebastian and I had to rush her to the surface so she wouldn't drown as a human in Ursula's lair. You see? Not a sound. What do you think a father would say? I'll tell you what a father would say. He'd say, I've got myself a breath to kill. That's what he'd say. Now she's got three days to make Prince Eric fall in love with her. And to prove it, he's got to kiss her. The prince will all say. Prince Eric had been searching for the girl who saved his life. But when he found out Ariel couldn't speak, he figured it couldn't have been her. But since he thought she had been through a shipwreck, he chose to help her anyway. You need help? Well, I've got just the remedy. A warm bath and a hot meal. Come on, the cops isn't far. Way to go, Ariel. Oh, great. Now i got to follow her. This is going to get me in some real hot water. Can you believe that guy? What a crap. <laughs> he had his servants give her a dress. And the next day, he took her for a tour of his kingdom. Sebastian and I caught up with them when he took her for a moonlit boat ride on a lagoon. Nothing is happening! They spent all morning on horseback, and then an afternoon picnic, and now this. Not so much as a peck on their cheek. Oh no, there's only one day left. We've got to do something, and quick. But what? So, this will be our last chance. How about this weather? <laughs> we got to create the right kind of mood. You mean like candle and champagne? Nonsense. It don't take all that. Everything we need, we got right here. Percussion. Strings. Winds. Words. She disguised herself and used Ariel's voice to distract him and hypnotize the prince until the third day was at an end. When the sun set, Ursula appeared and took Ariel back to the sea. Sebastian and I knew we had to do something. Where have you been? Where is Ariel? I entrust my youngest daughter to you and what happens? She disappears? What kind of tragedy will it take? A tragedy what? involving the sea witch? What? Don't be a goopy, don't be a goopy, don't be a goopy. You see, Your Majesty, these two slippery eels came and took Ariel to Ursula, and she traded her voice for a pair of legs. She bartered away her voice to become human? Yes, and now that child's given away her, her very soul. Ariel, what have you done? Tell me, must save my daughter. 
Say goodbye, Peel Prince. You're mine now, my friends. Get ready to spend the rest of your days as my slave. <laughs> Ursula! King Trike, you're my donkey. You. What have you done to my daughter? Nothing. She's done it all to herself, trading her voice away. And for what? Human heartbreak. <laughs> Give her back to me. Not on your life. It so happens that your daughter made a bargain. No! Swapped her voice to let a man of words try. Is it binding? Goodness, yes. Unbreakable unless. Unless? There is a little something we could try. Go on. Yes. Perhaps we could arrange a sort of trade off. Maybe swap your daughter's soul for, say, your own. What? Make this deal and set her free, or else she comes to me to suffer through eternity in love. It's not my soul you're after, it's my power. Now which would you rather be, the king of the sea or a father to his little girl? The trident is a great responsibility, Ursula. Nonsense, Trident. Hand it over!
Ariel's the one who's done the rescuing. Wait, so he's the king of the sea, and she's his daughter? Does that upset you? Heavens no, I'm just glad she's royalty. Your Majesty, your daughter makes me eager to seize the future and claim my birthright as king. But I hope when I slip out to sea sometimes that she'll be right out there beside me. May I have her hand? Ariel can speak for herself. She can? 